Hi everyone, my name is Kenzie, and I'm the creator of the Rasona VRChat model. For those unaware, the Rasona is a model I'm selling for VRChat that is fallback compatible on both Quest and PC. This means that it is rated excellent with only one material, under 7,500 polygons, and only one mesh. Despite this, I was able to cram quite a bit of customization into the shape keys with multiple hairstyles, different wear styles for clothes, and different body shapes. I'd like to take a moment to go through the Avatar 3.0 menu with everyone, just so everyone is aware of what they're going to be getting upon release. With that, let's swap over. And now that we're on desktop, let's overview the 3.0 expression menu for the Resona. But before I do, I do want to clarify a little bit that this is a bit of a work in progress still, while this is the release version, I am likely to do some changes and some cleanup as time goes on. And then for the feature update planned by the end of the year, I'm going to have to likely add a uh, rearrange just a bit. So if you're viewing this video and you feel that there's a bit of a difference in what you have and what I'm showing on screen, it's likely just that I put some updates and most of the things will have the same name. So this video is worth watching even if you have an updated version, just because this does go through all of the current options in the Rasona and all of the options that will exist until the feature update. So first, when you go into the expression menu, you see that you have options for a body customization, hair customization, and clothing customization. Let's start at the body customization. You'll notice then that we have a credit option, lower body, upper body, and face. The credit option is just a way to pull the little watermark that I keep on the texture out of the body. This is because when the clothing is inside, it can be a little hard to just stick your head in and read. So if anyone asks who made the model, you can just kind of pull that out. Of course though, if you want to remove the shape key, you're free to, but please don't remove the uh, watermark from the texture or the model itself. When it is inactive, the texture just sits inside the chest like most other models. Now going to the lower body, you can see that we start with where we start with tail thickness. Tail thickness is by default at 50%. You can have a very thin tail or a very wide one. Let's keep it at about 60% here. Next, there's hip size. One thing I wanted to avoid was gendered terms in the Rasona body menu, just because of the fact that I didn't, I felt that it would be more appropriate to allow people to adjust uh, different proportions instead of gendering, like say, wider hips equals female or uh, broader shoulders equals male. So the hips are wider, are chain. Ugh. Basically, this is part of a way to make your avatar appear more effeminate. The torso also has a few functions for that as well. Let's set the hips to around 66%. Then we have leg size, which is pretty self-explanatory. Put it around there. And the booty, again, pretty self-explanatory. Around there. Then if we go to the upper body, you'll see that there are a few more options. You have your arm size, breasts, shoulder width, belly, and nails. The nails are just a simple toggle, there's nothing really fancy going on there. Belly is pretty self-explanatory. Let's put it at about here. Then we have shoulder width, which is part of the scrapped gender feature. So the shoulder, the shoulder width can actually be adjusted however you feel. Put it around here. And then we have breasts. So originally there was a gender slider that controlled both hips, or all three hips, shoulders, and breasts, and I just decided to move all of them into separate shape keys just to allow people to customize themselves a bit more. Let's put the breasts around here. And lastly, we have arm size. Pretty self-explanatory there. Put the arm size at around. Next, we have face customization. When you open the face menu, you're going to see that you have eye options, ear size, whiskers, cheek tufts, and the canine face. Let's start at the canine face, and you'll see that it just kind of pulls the face outwards. 
This is good for those that have either Fox avatars or or Fox personas or um how do I put that? Fox dog. There's a default texture for a wolf, a husky, and a fox and a fennec uh, included with your persona. So you can kind of see how that can be affected. However, if you're a cat, you might have it much more flatter. Because this is a fox texture, let's put it around 67%. Then we have whiskers and cheek tufts. These can be disabled and enabled independently. And let's just keep the cheek tufts on for now. Then we have ear size. Going from 0 to 100, you can see that you can get a little ridiculous with I tend to find that my happy sweet spot is around 30%. Some people, though, might just find their sweet spots at 100. Really depends on what you're looking for with the model. Now for eye option. Let's quickly zoom into the face, though, and go over these. Because there are quite a bit here. Starting with the cat eye, you'll notice that you can just have the eye change to a more cat-like appearance. And this is on a slider, so let's say you just want a little bit of a curve to it, you can do that. Or if you want an extreme slit, you can go for it. I'm going to put it at 15%. Add a bit of spice to it. There's puppy eyes, which just kind of makes it bigger. Put that around... Well, let's put it at zero, so I can show small eyes, which just makes the eye smaller. And then we have pupil size, which just shrinks or grows the black part of the eye here. As mentioned, I wanted to pull puppy eyes up a bit. And then we have eye, eye shape B and eye shape C. These two sliders are different from these two in that it actually controls the general shape of the eye. As you can see with eye shape B, it makes the avatar look a bit more relaxed, a bit more... younger, I would say, even. Whereas this expression is a tad sharper and more confident, this one is a tad more relaxed, laid back. And then, when we go from eye shape V, we go to eye shape, eye shape C, and eye shape C just squints the eyes a bit. This is for, well, fox-like characters that want to look a little more sly. And the best part is, you can actually combine these as well, so you can have eye shape B and eye shape C active at the same time, for a squinty, actually pretty sleepy look. Let's just turn off eye shape B for now, and let's put eye shape C to about 59%. Now let's talk about the hair. The hair for the Rasona is... There are three different hairstyles for the Rasona. The anime cut, the short hair, and the Hime Cut. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And the Hime Cut allows you to adjust the volume. Transition back to the other state. Or... You can also layer these hair, how layer these hairs however you like. However, for now I'm just going to use the anime hair. Also going to reset that to zero. Next, let's go to our clothing layer, and you'll see that there are four options here. Starting with shoes, as there are the least amount of options here, you have heels, and you have sneakers. I'm going to keep the shoes off just for now. Then, going to pants, you can turn the pants on and off, and then you can turn the shorts on and off. So, you can have either just regular long pants or shorts. And one thing I did want to uh, mention with this is that you actually can enable the shorts independently as well. So in case you want to put some leg warmers or something fun there, you're able to. And you can also sag the pants a bit. This shape key might see some changes as time goes on, just because this is one that I'm not super sure on, but it's there for you for now. You may notice that there's no option for underwear currently. This is because the underwear is actually on the texture, and as mentioned, uh, due to some of the limitations that uh, 
VRChat Quest has. I don't have many texture, or I don't have any texture options in the 3.0 menu. That might come in a future update, but for now, there's no way to change the texture in-game. Now let's look at the shirt dress. You'll notice that there's quite a few options here, so let's walk you so let me walk you through it. Starting here, we have the shirt on and off. This adds a bit of a crop top to the shirt. Then you can see crop shirt on slash off, and that enables the bottom part of the crop top, or just turns it into a regular tank top. Then we have sleeves on and off, which gives it a bit of a baseball tee cut. And then we have a turtleneck. And then we have a dress. And these can all be enabled differently, or through different layers. Uh, not layers. They can be enabled basically at different times. You don't have to have, for instance, the shirt on even to have the crop bottom and the dress bottom. Or for instance, you could maybe texture a skirt here. A very low rise skirt, but a skirt nonetheless. For now, let's just have the basic crop shirt on and let's put on our sleeves. Now let's look at the jacket. First, we have the option for jacket on and off, then jacket crop on and off, and the jacket sleeves on and off. And like with the shirt, these can be enabled independently of one another. Let's keep the whole thing on and look at the jacket wear styles. Here we have two different jacket open options and a roll up sleeves option. The roll up sleeves option is pretty self explanatory. However, the jacket options might require some explanation. So the jacket open slim basically just kind of opens it along the middle. It doesn't really adjust any of the rest of the silhouette and kind of just makes it look like it's just casually open. Whereas here, this kind of opens it in a bit baggier way. As you can see, it doesn't affect the full silhouette, but it does affect the way that it looks when it's opened. You can even combine these two to make, for instance, a very wide, wide open jacket. The possibilities are kind of endless here in terms of how you want to have the jacket open, the sleeves rolled. And that's the Avatar 3.0 menu. Let's go back into VR just so I can close out the video. All right, and we're back. Now, I just want to say that anyone who just wanted information can end the video right now. This is a unscripted outro, and I know that getting sentimental in a business thing is a little cringe, but I, I, I gotta say thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you to everyone that has supported me. This past year has been very far from easy and I've experienced a lot of loss and a lot of hardship um it's kind of a miracle that I was able to get this done <laughs> within the uh, year that I've had um <laughs> sorry but yeah um I just I I don't know I want to thank everyone I I, I don't want to start naming names because I don't want to like not say someone's name and have someone be offended just know that like everyone that I've known over the past year um this model is dedicated to you. <laughs> this model is dedicated to a lot of people in the sense that, like, this is something that I worked on only because I had the strength to because of everyone that has been there and has been helping me through all of it. <laughs> um, whether that's just listening to me when I need to vent or uh, whether that's, like, doing bug testing or just even saying, wow, the model looks great, Genzi. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just, I wanted to say thank you to everyone. And I really genuinely hope that you enjoy this model release. I put a lot of work into it. Um, and it's, I don't know. I, I, I really, really hope that people like it. So 
By the time you're watching this, the model will likely be released. I'm releasing this video about one day before, uh, just so I can drum up a little bit of extra hype. You know how it is. <laughs> but... Yeah. Thank you, everyone. And... Enjoy the Rasona. Thank you. God.